go. Hi, it's me, the tree again. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about Bohemian Grove. This is coming up, the two-week retreat. This is Charlie. He's a Welsh Corgi. Queen Elizabeth, she breeds Welsh Corgis. And um, she also has a new breed that she creates. Uh, the dash hound mix, mixed with the corgi called the dorgi. Anyway, this is Charlie. <laughs> um, okay, so Bohemian Grove is um, about up 2,000 global elites meet there for a two-week retreat uh, every July midsummer. Of course, um, the members of the Grove um, go there throughout the entire year, different types of meetings or whatever, but the most powerful um, people and the most important rituals are in July. And like I said, July 21st, July 22nd, July 23rd are the main days. Uh, July 21st, uh, the ritual feast of Mary Magdalene. And the 777 and the 666 is coded in there. Um, because six, okay, the 666 really is six plus six and equals 12, okay, like the 12 disciples, 12 months of the year, the 12 signs in the zodiac. And then one plus two equals three, and then you add the three to the 12, and then you have the 15, which is the devil card, the tarot. And then the one plus five equals six. So there you have your 666. And then, um, okay, but it's like um, hidden in disguise, like the six plus six equals 12, and that mirrored is the 21, which is the 777. <clears throat> And seven is zero and infinity at the same time because it does not have a mate. It is the only number, number between one and ten that cannot be multiplied or reduced by its own number without dropping below zero or going above ten. So it's um, zero and infinity at the same time. <clears throat> and the tree of life in the Kabbalah um, and in the Bible, um, the tarot is all <clears throat> coded around the 777 equals 21 matriarch. So, anyways, the ritual feast of Mary Magdalene is on July 21st. Okay, so the 777 is coded in there. The people who attend Bohemian Grove are usually, well, they're the global elites and they're mainly white and middle aged and very wealthy. And, well, you know, like President Bush, Dick Cheney, um, you know, all kinds of people. <laughs> I, I, should probably send you guys a link or whatever showing you all the different people that do attend the Bohemian Grove. Uh, okay, but the people that run Bohemian Grove, <clears throat> which is from the Bohemian Club, are Persians, full-blooded Persians. Okay, and that is like, um, Iran would be like descended from like a broken down bloodline as far as that goes, but the Persian is the pure blood and they're the ones that run the Bohemian Club. President Obama is Persian. And there isn't a whole bunch of them. The numbers are pretty small as far as the full-blooded full -blooded Persians <clears throat> that run the groves. Okay, but Queen Elizabeth is the head of the groves. She's the only woman in the Freemasons. She is the leader. She is the queen of hell, literally. And she is a um, leader of the Illuminati. And she sits on the throne of King David. Now, King David, in the Bible, when the Lord gave King David power over the military and the government and the people and everything, you know, gave him all that power, um, well, that is the throne that Queen Elizabeth now sits in. Jesus was called the heir to the throne of David because he, I mean, the son of David, excuse me, because he was the heir to the throne of David, which <clears throat> gives, that title gives um, the person sitting in that throne power over everything, territory, land, government, um, everything throughout the entire world. And so uh, if you do a, a search, you know, Google search or whatever, Queen Elizabeth titles and honors, um, you will find, you know, pretty much see how she has uh, control over the entire world. And also like over even Washington, D.C., the District of Columbia is a District of Columbia, which is run by the Queen. And see, and she runs the United States through the people in her secret societies, like George Bush and Obama and um, 
anybody with any power or whatever in the United States are in these secret societies, the Skull and Bones, the Freemasons, um, Bohemian Grove, things like that. And so they, <clears throat> in order to be able to hold those positions of power, you know, become the president or have all this power or these titles or wealth or run these corporations, they have to agree to participate in these canine rituals like to mold like Bohemian Grove, which is Satanism, human sacrifice, murder, and um, they don't necessarily have to actually do the murders themselves or the sacrifices, but they have to be there and attend and watch because um, literally to sell their soul to the devil, anybody of any power, because anybody of any power in the world, whether it's military, the government, the police, anybody, anywhere at the top, I guarantee you is a member of the Illuminati in one secret society or another because they all internet, I mean, you know, they work together and if somebody doesn't move up in the grade, you know, move up and rank and go through the, you know, rituals and the break, breaking down and um, that, then they don't get better jobs. If they want better jobs and they want to move up in their career, they have to move up in their uh, rank as far as what secret society they're in. Like one one thing that they do is they bury him in a coffin for three days. <clears throat> um, okay, so this year Bohemian Grove Queen Elizabeth will be there, and she is uh, she sits in the throne of King David. You can also check me on that too, Queen Elizabeth, King David. You know, claiming her descendancy. Adam and Eve and everything. Like I said, um, the mystery of the grail, Jesus was the, called the son of David because he was the heir to the throne of King David. Jesus' mother was not a virgin. A virgin back then meant a woman who has her own property and her own money who doesn't need to be married. Self-sufficient is what a virgin meant back then. And so um, Jesus' mother was the earth mother. She was the queen in France, okay? And Mary Magdalene came to live at the temple of the Holy Mother when she was five because girls, three girls every five years were chosen because of their birthdays um, to come live in the temple and be trained um, as priestesses and eventually one day one of them would be chosen to be the goddess or the earth mother or the queen. Okay, and this is back when King Herod, Pilate, Caesar, you know, none of them could have the power to rule and reign without the permission and anointing of the mother, of the queen. Well, the queen is an ego-based title, but Jesus' mother did sit in that throne, and she did pass the throne on to Jesus or to Mary Magdalene, who was the very last um, authentic queen or earth mother. And <clears throat> so Mary Magdalene and Jesus were supposed to be the king and queen on earth and see all the castle, castles and all the money and the wealth and the territories and all the powers and everything that they have, the queen and the royal family. That is supposed to be like heaven on earth, the same grail, the family, and they're supposed to be using all of that to parent and mother and nurture and take care of and heal this world. She's not supposed to be riding around in gold carriages, exalting herself above everybody else. All that wealth she has, she's supposed to be taking care of this world, taking care of you, and she's not. And <clears throat> so Queen Elizabeth, to make it, and I only have a short time left to talk here, but Queen Elizabeth, see it's Sangarian, they cannot, um, exist here on this dimension, well they can um, invisibly, you know, but they can't, you know, experience or do anything without having a body, so they hijack the human bodies. And um, <clears throat> so, Sangarian, they make up 3% of the world, every member of Bohemian Grove is Sangarian, and the Queen Elizabeth inhabited Mary Magdalene back, that's why if you look up uh, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, Queen Elizabeth, her main church, Mary Magdalene, it's all connected because she inhabited Mary Magdalene so that, um, you know, and then she, Magdalene and Jesus did have a child, but then she inhabited Mary Magdalene because Mary, they, because, well, bribery and blackmail. There's a long story to that, but anyways, I'll be there, Bohemian Grove this year, and I will get in. I will be invited, and I will. I, I will because... Um, they need me because I'm the only one that loves them and understands them. I don't love what they do. Anything that they do that's evil is no more evil than any human has ever ever done. There's humans that are evil. There's Sangarians that are evil and good on both sides. 
And so we can't just wipe out the Sangarians because they're evil. It's not going to work. We have to... I, I know, okay, shush. Um, sorry, he's trying to tell me to stop. My time's up, but it's okay. So, 